delegates and organizer of this conference first of all i am thankful to the organizers who gave me this golden opportunity to present my work at this platform my presentation endoscopic management of horn body nose removal with self fabricated blunt hook and experience of 1156 cases nasal horn body are common rhinological pediatric emergency and accounts one third of total emergency occasionally seen in adults especially in mentally challenged patient first year of the child life represent a phase of exploration and interaction with the environment when they start moving by their own means crawling and walking the child start having access to number of objects which they duly explore vast majority of horn bodies are placed in the nose voluntarily for variety of reason more so due to easy availability of the objects and absence of watchful care taker and any horn body stuck in the nose has a potential to dislodge and travel into nasopharynx oropharynx laryngopharynx and occasionally take your bronchial tree horn bodies can be classified as a organic and inorganic organic horn body include food rubber food sponge and metallic matrix which they cause more irritation to nasal mucosa and produce earlier symptom in organic horn body include plastic or metals for example bead butter stone paper small parts of the toy these remain open asymptomatic and may be discovered incidentally it is a retrospective hospital based study included 1156 pediatric patient of either sex in the age group of 1 to 14 years with horn bodies in the nose during the period of 2001 to 14 common presentation with the history of horn body insertion into the nose observed by parents nasal obstruction epistaxis pain and foul smelling nasal discharge usually in the later ent examination was carried out in each patient the rhinoscopy most of the time revealed the horn body however in some suspected cases x ray pns omu and x ray nasopharynx lateral view were obtained pre operative routine investigation like hb bt ct and complete urine examination was done in cases where general anesthesia was required in all patients written informed consent was obtained for nasal endoscopy majority of the patients horn body were removed under local anesthesia pre medication in the form of syrup promethazin 5 to 10 ml was given depending on the weight of the patient and 4% lignocaine with gelometazolin 0.05% locally instilled in both nostril for about 10 to 15 minutes prior to procedure patients were made to lie down in supine position head and elevated 10 to 15 degree to reduce the venous pressure head arms legs were secured with strap by assistant for better stabilization hopkins rigid pediatric endoscope 2.5 mm 0 degree was introduced and horn body visualized and removed with hook which was passed over the horn body and lowered up to the floor and horn body was removed this is uh, dr rangas horn body hook was fabricated from used nasal perichondrium elevator the end was filed to make it more blunt and non traumatic and was bent 60 degree the dr yados uh, ne horn body hook was fabricated from stitching tube catheter first the blunt catheter was straightened and then tip 5 to 6 mm was bent to 90 degree make it like a hook both these instrument are non traumatic as end were blunt they are very easy to insert as infant children and nasal cavity is very small further suction tube can be attached to the uh, to this uh, dr yadav dr spc yadav is formerly uh, as head of the department pgim ms rohtak he was my teacher the flat horn body like paper were removed by venet for sap under endoscopic vision After removal of horn body re-examination, both nostrils was carried out to exclude any horn body or any other part of the horn body. 
पोस्ट ऑपरेटिवली सिरप को मक्सी के लिए वो फाइव एम एल पी आई डी सिरप आइबुप्रोफेन फाइव एम एल पी आई डी एंड नॉर्मल स्लाइन इंस्टिलेशन थ्री ड्रॉप्स टी आई डी वाज क्यों और पेशेंट वर डिस्चार्ज ऑन द सेम डे ऑन फॉलोअप आफ्टर दिस सेवेन टू टेन डेज नो कंप्लेन वाज रिपोर्टेड बाय पेशेंट्स दो चिल्ड्रन हु वर नॉट कोऑपरेटिव देर वाज फेलोर ऑफ होन बॉडी रिमूवल ड्यू टू इंफेक्शन और हैड ए प्रीवियस अनसक्सेसफुल अटेम्प्ट वर रिमूव्ड अंडर जनरल एनेस्थीशिया डाटा रिगार्डिंग एज सेक्स साइड ऑफ नोज ड्यूरेशन एंड टाइप ऑफ होन बॉडी वाज एनालाइज्ड This is the table showing age and sex distribution of foreign body patients. In first, there is the age group one to four, five nice. to eight, nine to twelve, I and more to... than more than twelve. The most common age of foreign body is one to four. That, that's the number is six hundred seventy-two, and male are common in this as com common as compared to female. List minimum is more than twelve years. There is nineteen patients. There were 555 organic form body include groundnut 54, pass gram 38, berry 26, green pea 26, split gram 25, piece of rajat 24, chiclet 23, cotton seed 22, cotton 20, sponge 19, tamarind seed 18, popcorn 18, toffee 17, seed of berry 17, cadbury jam 16, sev bhujia 16, acacia seed 15. Oxnut fourteen, small cell berry thirteen, pumpkin seed thirteen, piece of acacia fruit twelve, bitternut twelve, walnut twelve, corn kernel twelve, almonds ten, piece of wood ten, cashew nut nine, button cell berry eight, piece of lead pencil eight, and raisin was six. There was six hundred one inorganic form bodies, including bead fifty, plastic button forty three, thermocol ball thirty, metallic button twenty six, ball pen end cap thirty, ball pen four cap twenty five, sketch pen end cap twenty four, small cell metallic bell twenty one, piece of twine nineteen, stone eighteen, piece of slate pencil eighteen, wax color eighteen. Standard biconvex tablet eighteen, plastic whistle eighteen, piece of piece of paper seventeen, bindi that's a four four head dots seventeen, marble sixteen, modified rectangle tablet sixteen, Diwali light bulb fifteen, nose pin fifteen, chalk piece thirteen, Bengal piece thirteen, Hajmola goli twelve, Hingoli twelve, nail nail twelve. Spent medium bullet twelve, small spent bullet eleven, metallic nut eleven, locking pin ten, uh, piece of remote button ten, piece of cracker nine, screw eight, piece of match stick eight, and C cell six. This is a point diagram showing the percentage wise of percentage wise of the organic form body. That is most common most common form body. Uh, is the groundnut and this common is the resin. In the inorganic form body, most common is the bead and least common is cheese. This is the diagram of uh, form body taken by me in my hospital. Different type of the form body, organic as well as inorganic. These are bilateral form bodies in the nose. That's a magnet. Form bodies were right side of the nose. Seven hundred and seventy left side, three hundred eighty-five cases, and one case was bilateral. Duration of the lodgement uh, comprised one to two days in uh, one thousand one hundred and eight patients, whereas seven to ten days in forty-six cases. Mean duration was two point six days. Only two cases of horn body dislodged posteriorly and cut out. Horn body theme. is concerned to our whole society and every body should know that it can lead down to severe complication and occasionally even death also foreign bodies are usually lodged in the anterior and middle third of the nasal cavity between septum and middle terminate successful removal of foreign body 
depends on number of factors like size, shape, texture, time or duration of whole body enlargement, cooperation of the child at the time of removal, visualization of whole body and surrounding structure trauma of the nasal cavity due to insertion or removal of attempts of whole body and skill of the otolaryngologist. First attempt is always, uh, first attempt is likely to be the most successful as repeated try not only cause future swelling and bleeding, which definitely compromise the patient's cooperation. Uh, these must be removed under local, uh, these must be removed under general anesthesia, not tried into local anesthesia. In our study, most common group was one to four years. That is 672 foreign bodies and decrease inversely with the age. Uh, with the age, it is due to fact that around the age of nine months, the child when develop the pincer grip, which allow easy manipulation of the small object. Curious children may insert small object in into their nose in an attempt to explore their own body. In the age group five to ten. 9 to 12 and more than 12 years, cases were lower due to more awareness at the part of the children as well as to their parents. There was common phone body in the right nostril 770, then the left nostril 385. It may be due to fact that majority of the population being right-handed, hence their right nostril is nearer than the left. Hence the easy access to insert the phone body. At the place of study, there is a definite preponderance of right handedness in general population. Male are affected more than female, which is comparable to earlier investigator. Most type of phone body in the nose being inorganic, 52%, as compared to organic phone body, 48%. However, phone body enlargement depend on region wise availability and usage of article in day-to-day -day life. The common form bodies were groundnut. It is commonly eaten in winter season, which is easily accessible to the children for eating and sometimes insertion in the nose. Watch gram, split gram, popcorn, toffee, Cadbury jam, sevuja, fox nut, wall nut, corn kernel, almond, cashew nut, resin, and chiclets are common curious and tasteful food item used to feed and pacify the children at the place of study. Insertion of foreign body uh, may be due to boredom, frustration, and unhealthy nose picking habits. Different types of seeds such as green pea, acacia, cotton, berry, pumpkin, bitternut, tamarind, which are also very commonly used in the houses. Cotton and spongy fragments are being usually removed from the pillow and damaged mattress are easily available. Berry and piece of acacia fruits are present in the abundance in a tropical climate as the place of study. Common primary stationary materials such as eraser, lead, slate pencil and chalk are used primarily in the elementary education. Organic form bodies tend to swell and hence usually more symptoms earlier than in organ. Pencil, pencil matrix, as well as button cell matrix are common extensively used in many devices like hearing aids, electronic games, watches, digital planner, and new electronic toys. Smooth and shiny appearance makes them quite attractive and interesting to the children who eagerly handle them when they are accessible. Clinical course of battery depends on the several factors, including location, duration, mucosal contact, remaining in the electric, electric voltage in the battery, and chemical composition. In our study, in our study, we did not observe any septal ulceration or perforation and necrosis of turbinates. Depending on the duration of insertion and removal of battery was less than six hours in all our cases. However, liquefaction necrosis of the nasal mucosa due to leakage of alkaline electrolyte solution and residual electric voltage in battery has been earlier, has been reported earlier. Most commonly 
counter and button which are used for shirt and decoration of the cloth in the last few decades increasing demand of the stationary materials pen paper chalk has also lead and lead on to increase in the incidence of foreign body in the nose it is natural habit of children to play with toys or plastic vessel remote control sea shell and sometime caretaker is not looking after the children and they get opportunity to insert in the nasal orifice these days the most houses either parents or children are taking the treatment in the form of tablet or in, in the various shape and the size children may play with them and sometime insert into their nostril as also object uh, in the place of study bindi forehead dots bangles nose pin locking pin are used by indian females for makeup and routine accessories which are in the easy reach of children as well as observed in our study furniture and kitchen ware in the houses have a nail screw nut and bolt which get loose with the passage of time curious children may detached from the site of placement they insert into the nasal cavity in contrast to organic foreign bodies inorganic are used in making floor and decoration in drawing room at the place of study marbles specially colored marbles looking attractive to the children and when and they get curious to explore its nature and accidentally insert into their nose in india diwali is the festival of lights there is a lot of decoration with different colored lights are used the children have a natural attraction to these they play with them and insert the piece into their nose remnants of used cracker which are lying either at home or in playground children can insert into the nose match sticks are commonly used in our daily life used match sticks are lying in the place at home for children play with them and they uh, insert into the oral cavity and nasal cavity pediatric nasal endoscopy is the best method for diagnosis and removal of foreign bodies removal of foreign bodies with nasal endoscopy is very quick safe less traumatic and visualize the site of lodgement of foreign body in the nose with least morbidity we have also observed that under the age of 4 year child size of nasal cavity is smaller and removal of foreign body is difficult and challenging and required general anesthesia however we have removed mostly under local anesthesia in our study the foreign bodies were located in the anterior part of the nasal cavity children between 1 to 12 are afraid of doctors and instrument it is better to hold arm legs for proper stabilization and easy visualization of the foreign body general anesthesia is given to apprehensive children we have removed foreign body using nasal hook designed by us except the foreign body like paper it is important to pass the tip of instrument over and beyond the foreign body under endoscopic guidance in the nose hooked and drawn along the floor of the nasal cavity in our study we had minor complication like apostaxis laceration of nasal mucosa in 26 cases however one must not forget the golden rule that first attempt has the best chance for removal of foreign bodies in the nose as the child become afraid then they usually don't cooperate so don't attempt twice under local anesthesia second attempt and overly apprehensive children even first attempt should always be under general anesthesia endoscopic management is definitely preferable in conclusion self fabricated blunt hooks under endoscopic guidance is convenient and atraumatic for removal of nasal foreign body without any complication i am thanking you 
uh, for the uh, organizer. They give me this platform to share my experience. And uh, this is last slide. This picture is taken by my daughter, Dr. Himansi, is more fond of such kind of photography. Thank you all. Thank you.